Welcome back to the performance video training series. In this video, we will explore the NetSetter utility in performance. NetSetter is a comprehensive tool designed to help manage critical functions of your H control devices on a network. NetSetter can be opened by clicking this icon. If you have not specified a network adapter, or no devices have been found on the network, the screen will be empty like this. Network adapters can be selected by clicking the network adapter button here. To add a new network connection, Click the Add Connection button and select the adapter from the list. Click the Add button and the adapter will now show up in your adapters list. Adapters that are chosen and in this list are monitored by the application for H controlled devices and traffic. Any adapter not on this list will be ignored. It is recommended that only adapters that are actively being utilized be on this list to reduce traffic and overhead. If an adapter has previously been selected, it will already be listed here. Click the X to close the application settings window. Now that the correct network adapter has been selected, the net setter window is populated with all the age control devices discovered on the network. The device list can be refreshed by clicking the rescan button. This is useful to clear the list and see a fresh state of the devices discovered on the network. Each row in net setter is a single device, and every column is a setting or useful piece of information about that device. While any of these parameters can be configured from the LCD screen of that device, NetSetter provides a unified and convenient location to configure multiple devices at once, saving lots of time during deployment. The list of devices displayed in NetSetter can be sorted by data in any column. Clicking the column title once will sort the list by the parameter in ascending order, and clicking a second time will sort in descending order. Columns can be pinned to the left by clicking the filter icon and then selecting Pin Column to the left. Age Control has been designed from the ground up to be a rugged Tor grade communication protocol between devices and performance that operates on standard off the shelf TCP IP hardware like switches and Wi Fi routers. Age Control devices require the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway information to be correctly configured for devices to communicate with each other. One of NetSetter's superpowers is that it discovers devices across all subnets, allowing you to see and configure age control devices that might have misconfigured IP addresses. The status field tells us what the reported state of each device is. When everything is communicating as expected, the state will say running. This is when the devices and performance are in the same IP range and they have established a TCP connection. If a device has discovered, NetSetter can see it, but cannot establish a TCP connection. This often happens because the devices do not have correctly configured IP addresses. In this case, these four devices are not correctly set to DHCP. While static IP addresses are supported, H Control was designed to take advantage of the simplicity of DHCP to speed up deployment. DHCP mode can be enabled for each device by clicking the checkbox here. When network changes are made in NetSetter, they are not immediately applied to those devices. When a change is made that is not applied, an orange box appears around the parameter. This allows changes to be sent in batches, which reduces the amount of time waiting for devices to accept, apply, and reconfigure network settings. To quickly configure multiple devices to DHCP, select the checkboxes and then click Apply Changes to send the change town to the device. When DHCP is enabled, IP, subnet, and gateway information is read-only since the devices receive this information from the DHCP server or from a self-assigned address. When DHCP is disabled, we can manually change IP parameters by double clicking in the cell, entering a value, and tapping enter. Discard unwanted changes with the cancel button here. Performance simplifies interacting with the system by allowing users to focus on simpler H control IDs rather than longer and more complicated IP addresses. HCIDs can be configured completely independently of IP addresses and will not affect communication. They are identifiers that are used to aid in the matching of physical devices and virtual devices in your design. To change the ID on the hardware from NetSetter, click the HCID cell of the device and enter a new number. HCIDs can be any number from one to six digits long and should be unique to that device. If the HCID has been locked from the hardware, a lock icon will appear here, indicating that the ID cannot be modified until the lock is released from the LCD on the device. 
Like IP addresses, HCIDs are changed as soon as you hit Apply Changes. The device's LCD screen will update to show the change. Logically assigning easy-to-remember HCIDs to your devices will help speed up the design and deployment of your audio system. Physical devices displayed in NetSetter can be identified by clicking the Locate icon next to the HCID. With Locate on, the LCD and LEDs on the physical device in question will flash on and off. Once unknown devices are identified, it is easy to assign a logical HCID. The Locate feature can also be used in reverse. By navigating to Locate within the device's menu and enabling it, the Locate icon in NetSetter will flash. Locate can be turned on or off to all discovered devices at once from the Master Locate button in the header row. When a device is synchronized with a design and performance, the device receives the group and array name assigned to the virtual device from the design. This information is stored in the device's container and is displayed on the LCD. In NetSetter, you can see the current container information of each device listed. It is possible that the device's container is populated with information from your current project if you have brought the system online already. It is also possible that this column still contains the information from the most recent project that the device was used in. Containers can also be blank if they have been cleared or the device has not been used before. To clear a container, select the device and hit the Clear Container button. Multiple or all devices may be cleared at the same time using Multi Select or Select All. This drop down at the top of NetSetter allows you to quickly filter the entire list of devices by workflow critical issues. Devices that have conflicting IP or HCID information can be easily identified by filtering the list down to devices in conflict. NetSetter can also filter the list by devices that need firmware updates. Updating firmware is covered in detail in a separate video. With all our devices properly configured for network connectivity and logical HCIDs assigned, we can continue with the next step of our workflow, bringing devices online in connect mode.